Welcome back to Broken Dryad. Uh, just entered the temple. I guess on the east side, we should try and find this uh, keeper glyph. I guess it's at the. Oh, off the temple. Hello? As head priest and embalmer, I was, of course, amongst those who objected most strongly to the seafaring merchants setting foot on our island. When I heard they were trading goods they had brought from their ship, I fully intended to go down to the market and put a halt to any barter going on. Ironically, when I arrived there, I find myself being mesmerized by an item the strangers had on sale. It was a hammer, most likely once used as an instrument in battle, which emanated an aura of inexplicable calm and salvation. I am convinced there is a divine nature surrounding this hammer that in some way connects to our island. I plan on acquiring it, not for personal possession, but for further studies. I discussed the matter of the merchants with Emperor Vasberic, and we agreed on drugging them and transporting them back to their ship. We are not interested in trading with other civilizations, and these hallowed grounds shall not be desecrated by infidels. Head Priest Fuquan. Indeed, there is a keeper glyph here. Aha, uh -huh, so this is the second room, right. This is the first. Now we've got access to the second room, and there is a third room, at least. Something funky going on it. Going on in it, anyway. When we get back to the City of the Dead. A practical guide to the known types of demons. Full select. Many people who had been on the verge of death reported later that they had seen a bright light at the end of a black tunnel. In almost every account, this light is described as an intense glow emitting peace and calmness. Clerics as well as many scholars agree that the light acts as a guiding beacon which leads the spirits into the hands of the Builder. A false light is an extra-dimensional demon with the unique ability to cunningly mimic this kind of light. Its enthralling glow lures the souls of recently deceased into a trap where the demon devours or enslaves them. Worlds that are contaminated by a false light commonly experience a dramatic rise in the occurrence of undead, as their trapped souls cannot find any rest. Fortunately, a false light is unable to travel between dimensions on its own, and thus cannot befall other worlds at will. Summoning, summoning a false light for item enchantment is only recommended for the very experienced spellcaster. A single item is too weak a binding to hold this type of demon properly. If at all, a false light needs to be imbued into a divided triad. The name false light stands for both the demon and the light it is radiating. So that's what Nyalatatep is. What, what's his name? Now you I forgot. I've forgotten already. Now, now you No. Nyasal. Translation. Redan Refja Harbo Milo. That's not translation, but it will at least give me a way to sound out things. Um, Alright, because we had... Oh, that's right, because there was a glyph door here, right? A hieroglyph door. Code lock. We don't know what the code is, but now we at least have a translation of the sounds they correspond to. Now let's get back to the temple. Very neat effect, this. Very well done. It's quite unlike stock stuff. Hello? More star gems, okay. The last arrival. Note of Hila Naza, 2nd Saturday, 126 year. Saturday or so day, I don't know. Is it for sewing plants or, or a day for uh, female pigs? I Make up your own mind. This morning we made a gruesome discovery. Apparently the celestial gate had been activated during the night, two weeks before the next reception. As a result, the unfortunate man who had tried to get through only arrived partially. Lying at the foot of the gate we found an arm and a leg, both cut off as if a sharp knife had gone through them. This is one of the dangers of the portal. If the moon is not in the right position, travellers are on the risk of being torn apart during the voyage, having parts of them arrive at different times. 
This is why the reception ceremony only takes place four times a year at days precisely calculated by Karatins and Kairul's astronomers. As for the traveller's identity, we cannot be sure for now. He was wearing an intricate ankle collar that suggested him being of higher standing, but otherwise we can only wait for the rest of him to arrive. As dreadful as this may sound. Seventh something day, 126 year. Several healers, myself included, were positioned at the portal to await the unfortunate traveller's arrival. Yesterday, the remaining body came through, and to everyone's shock, the traveller proved to be none other than Vartaran, Karathin's emperor himself. We did our best to aid him, but he was too weak and was one foot already in the afterlife. Literally. Uh, during his last few breaths, he tried to speak to us, though his voice was no more than a hoarse whisper. From the little we could make out, Karathin was on the verge of destruction. Vartaran mentioned the anger of Nilahotep, and that the priests had tried everything to appease the earth. Nobody else arrived that day, and since then the gate has remained dark, which likely means the other end has been destroyed. Bartaran must have tried to escape the cataclysm by entering the Celestial Gate. Vizier Kadan Haref announced a year of mourning for our Emperor, and the fall of our great city. As Vartaran is no more, Kadan Haref will now ascend to be the first Emperor reigning Cairo. We just hope our brethren in Karathin were able to escape with their lives. It is quite clear Vartaran was acting out of desperation. It is not the Emperor's place to step through the Celestial Gate, as tradition dictates he has to stay with his people his entire life. Although we cannot communicate with our brethren in Karathin, it became apparent to us already at the beginning of Vataran's reign that he was quite fond of wealth and not a man of the people like his predecessor Vatarak had been. It was only a matter of time before the gods would show their resentment. There is a way back through the Celestial Gate, if the third gate in Karathin is still intact. But since this is a one-way path, nobody would be able to come back to Cairo and tell us what has happened to our home city and brethren. Well, rip that around. Rip an arm and a leg off him. Okay, we could go that way to the main temple, but there is this upper staircase. Anything hiding underneath? Nobody ever hides anything on the staircases anymore. Such a shame. What's that sound? Sounds like a sea almost. Dearest Stadrana, even if the council allowed us to install the moonstone at the Celestial Gate, there is a far bigger problem. We can't get inside the room where the stone is kept. Somebody destroyed the lock with the obvious intent to prevent anyone from accessing the room. I have a pretty good idea who performed the deed. Head Priest Fuquan has always been very vocal concerning the Third Gate, and his recent disappearance is just too much of a coincidence. Ever since he obtained that strange hammer, his behaviour has become increasingly erratic, and this is the result. Unless we can break that door open soon, we'd better find a secure place to hide. There is a storm brewing in the City of the Dead. Yours, and uh... Okay, so the... Door to the Moonstone. Chamber is locked. Okay, this is the walkway that runs... Oh, it's running south. Along here, I wonder where that goes. I mean, I should just go find out, right? But eh, I guess so. I guess I should just go find out. Anyone? Oh, this is the one with the smash lock, of course. Right. So the moonstone is up here somehow. Ah. Uh... I guess we're gonna need or, or is that the third gate? I don't know, something that's necessary for something. What did I say? Yeah, that's the moonstone, okay. Maybe it's just the storm I'm hearing. Just the clouds. Well, that's where I came in from. <laughs> Not much point being up here, is there? Careful, Garrett. Suddenly <laughs> you walked backwards. Luckily there was a ledge there and I didn't fall to my death again. I haven't actually stopped to look at the carvings in there. Very fancy doors.
Bright light shone in my eyes when I woke up this morning, despite there being no window in my chamber. I soon realised that the source of this unusual glow was the hammer I had acquired from the seafaring merchants. To my further amazement, there was an ethereal figure standing right next to it. The apparition had its left arm outstretched, as if it were reaching for the hammer. Then it turned its head towards me. A chill went down my spine when I recognised the ghost to be that of Kevin, the fisherman we had buried just a few days ago. With an accusing stare, Kevin seemed to be mouthing soundless words directed at me. And then he was gone. With that, the hammer's glow faded as well. This event has confirmed my belief that the hammer has a connection to Cairo, and more precisely, to the City of the Dead. I am unsure of this connection's exact nature, thus I am going to visit the necropolis before I bring this matter before the council. Head priest Fuquan. Yes, I'm going to do a dangerous thing before letting anybody else know that it might be dangerous. Of course, of course. Hello. Alright, that is two star gems now. It's a nice cushion. I like I like that they've re taken these uh, lost city beds and put the cushions on them. It's a nice touch. And uh, very nice chairs too. Okay, so that must have been... Uh, headquarters? Bedroom. Chambers, that's the word. Quarters. I mean, I guess his head was there when he was there, you know. Still attached, I presume. Alright, let's go... Check out this temple. Oh. Something is happening in here. Well, that's going to give us easier access later. And uh, moving the sacred fire elemental away from the market and closer to the palace is out of the question. I thought you knew that the elementals only remain stable where they've been shaped. Remember the fire elemental that went round five moons ago? It happened because the pedestal had been moved by accident. That is why we shaped this one near the water and away from the palace. I know it is tedious, but if one of the palace's hallowed candles goes out, you'll have to bring it to the market and relight it there. Oh, it's a socket for... something. Hello? There's a passageway down there. Not just the lava, I mean there's a... actual... doorway. Hmm. There's no longer a passageway here, okay. Necropolis. The way is shut. It was made by those who are dead, and the dead guard it. I mean, I guess I could try jumping down here. Is that wood? Is that these wood? Nothing else this way, right? This is just where I came in. Yeah. Up there? No, just, just raging. Alright. I mean, I could try putting a star gem in there, but it doesn't look like a star gem socket, actually. It looks like it's for something else. Something bigger. Don't know quite what. <laughs> Alright. Oh, get back up on that. I guess, I guess maybe. I guess if we put a rope in the center of the beam, I should be able to get back up on that one, right? Yeah, all right. So this other one is a little off to the side, is less useful. Let's keep this one here. Okay. Well, who wants to play uh, platforming games, huh? <laughs> Hello, what is... What is this place? Is this the Necropolis? He's definitely got dead stored here. Oh. Oh. Hey, man. 
You seem pretty chill, don't mind me. Wasn't that coming north? Hmm. Star gems. You guys aren't gonna mind if I take this stuff, are you? It's not like you have any use for it anymore, right? Sacred water, sacred gold, sacred to the memory of Garrett, the master thief who needed it more than the dead people did. Anything inside your coffin, mate? Aha. Uh -huh. Pyramid, that... Did you just look at me? Yeah, grin while you can. We're going back inside. The pyramid is what goes in that socket. That's just clear. I hear any footsteps, but I think it's just my own, my own echo. Another spirit fire arrow. What is spirit fire? What is it all about? I've only got two. I don't really want to just like throw one to find out. It seems <laughs> quite a waste. And. Uh, Oh, is this this is the where is that's where I came in? Yeah, that's the rope. That's where I came in. Okay, so we're going all the way around, and we can't open it. All right, back we go. Did I miss some valuables? No, that's just your feet. Thought I saw something shiny. Sorry I desecrated your place. It was an accident. Really, you guys. Go back to sleep. Okay, you happy now? <laughs> you don't actually sound very happy. Oh, that guy's gone too. Maybe he was the one who woke everyone else up. So what did I, what did you get out of that? So, uh, the pyramid and another spirit fire gem. All these are fine fellows to their uh, moaning and groaning. Wait, that can't be the necropolis, right? I mean, this is absolutely the kind of place I would call a ne necropolis. But this is the path in the, to the necropolis, and it needs a pyramid, as the door is now telling me, lighting up the, the jimmy thing. 
I'm going for ropes. Two left. No, I don't think I need to go down here again. <laughs> Did I collect my rope from down there? I don't know. Let's just take this one back. Alright, let's see what this does for us. Bright lights. Does it open the door? It does, okay. City of the Dead, here we come. I should be careful in here. There are likely a few traps around. Yeah? Oh yeah. Hmm. Wait a minute. What set that off? A second, how's it supposed to get past that then? Oh, okay, I can crash before this, this one, I think. Nope. What? Going there sets the first hammer off, right? The first crushing thing. Then you get these spinny blades coming out, and the second one comes out. The timing. The second one comes down at the same time as the first one's going up, so you can't make it out. So then what? I mean, it's, it's still going to trigger it back up here, right? Isn't it? Yeah. How the fuck are you supposed to do this? Speed potion, if I have one. I can just try running for it, but it's not going to work, right? Hmm. Yeah, the second one comes down way too low for me for merely crouching to help. I was thinking that maybe I could set it up again and get them out of sync or something. Nope. Nope. Ah! Well. Oh. Okay, that makes a spot where you can survive the trap. That's still... But the trap still goes off. That's quite awkward, but... Fine. Okay, we can't get back that way, I guess. Hmm. Blocks we can remove. And the shaped. Oh, so if, well, if I go down one of the tiles out... What is down there? Spikes and bones. Spikes and bones. Ah! Yeah. It's a trap. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And this one's gonna be the same. 
So what we need is to make one of those shapes out of these. Hang on, the left and right shapes, uh, maybe this is possible. Then, uh, that should be the rightmost shape. Yeah, I looked all that up. Guess that means it's safe. Good news is we don't have to get past the, uh, perhaps the second time if we can find the uh, other keeper glyph. All right. Just land on the beam, not fall past it. Well, there's nothing in those windows, is there? Uh. Ouch. Fail. Ah. Also fail. Wait, is this... After I turn it on, it is after I turn it on. Alright, try that again. Okay. Just like... See? That is a thing, but is it a secret door? I don't know. Still didn't find the secret of the bath passage. You know, I could try these ones first. Maybe these things are all just clunky. No, see, that one's not clunky. So my spidey sense was not wrong. That one's not clunky either. This one? Not clunky. So, um... This one is hiding something. Mm hmm What and how? I don't know, and I'm annoyed that I lost so much health there, but I guess I'll just... accept it. And move on. Oh, I see. You know, this and really steep slopes beside these things is a pain. <sighs> Just some valuables, I suppose. Could be worse. Alright, let's close it up again, shall we? Make sure nobody knows that we were the one that stole from there. Oh. Play me, boy. Shit, he just comes back and forth, doesn't he? I like that fire here. Or the lava. Oh, well, the lava likes them, maybe. Definitely all seems quite safe. Seriously, Mr. Keeper, did you come all the way in here before leaving your next marker? Objective complete, enter the necropolis. Okay, we are finally in the necropolis. Another spirit fire arrow, that makes three. 
shit, who's that? It's more than one. They don't sound to me like the kind of people who'd be happy to see me. Oh shit. One of them right there. I mean, aren't you supposed to be dead? his face isn't here yet. He shouldn't be undead yet. Otherwise, what's he going to do when he gets here? Who knows? Okay. When you walk to the left, we will walk to the right. We don't walk into anybody else up here. I was going to say, I hope that we do actually have a place to hide. Which we do. There's also wooden beams we could potentially get on top of. Okay. Sorry to interrupt your... Oh, not just to get on top of, get past. Okay. Might give interest. Is this blood soaked stones? There's a lot of blood spilled here, so it's... Impressive work. Oh. Three. The perceptive eye will see the light. Um, I'm not sure it's talking about anything up there. Didn't want to be caught when this lady comes back because I think she probably goes in that room and walks around it. Well, I'm not certain. I guess I can find out. I can peek while she's uh, heading up that way this time. Yep, goes right in, walks all the way around. I don't know. Just walks up to the end and back. It would have been safe to hide in that room in the corner. I don't need to. Also, is it just me? Shit, that's not wood. Is that wood? Is that wood? Hmm. You seem upset. It's just arrows.
Hmm. If that's not wood, then have you I mean it looks like wood. This is this is a problem. Now you've had other bits of wood that looks almost indistinguishable from stone and apparently so does this. <laughs> yeah, not supposed to happen. Thanks, New Dark. Yeah, it's just coming back. So, now what? How do I get up there? I mean, maybe I don't. Maybe that's just the way I traverse. One side to another, I was checking the map. Of course, I don't have a map. Also, I was going to say, is it just me or does this look suspicious? This looks suspicious to me. Hopefully, that did not. She didn't hear that. Well, where do I go then? What was up over there? Oh! The button. I don't seem too happy about that. I got four. Four things left. Four heads. If I need them. Ah, they're all down there, riled up. Guess I. Wait. Ah, I should have gone. Oh, I'll follow her down the stairs and then hide under them again. I guess I should probably just use my last healing potion. There's no need to hang on to it, right? Yeah. What? Why was she walking backwards? Um, this could be bad. You didn't see me. Cheating! You're cheating! Cheating. <laughs> Couldn't stun lock them in their spellcasting either, but uh, they missed me, which was convenient because I'm out of healing. I didn't have to get up to either of those places, but if I get up to one of them, I can get across to the other, I suppose. Okay, so the other one walks down here, does it not? I don't know. Oh, we've got a sword like the They've got a sword just like the one that's in the Emperor's face. That's interesting. 
Also suspicious. Maybe that explains who these wandering undead are. They're part of the assassins of the dark cloak or whatever it was called. Last path. Okay. What's this? Looks kind of like a... Oh, it's a torch that's not lit, I guess. And I was going to say it looks kind of like a lever, but... Hello? Hello? <laughs> ah. This takes me above the last path, I guess. Yeah, somebody right there as well. this button do? Wakes him up, that's what it does. Okay, let's... Uh... Keep exploring out this way for a bit. So it's got a very tiny frog area. It's like Look away a fraction, and it was stopping to open. It was unhighlighted. Well, some kind of apparition out there. What is this machinery for? I mean, I can power it, but why? Do I just do it? Well, I mean, I guess I, I guess I do. If it's here, it's got to be important, right? Are they pulling out some bars that were in front of something? Maybe there was a gate that was barred and that's unbarring it. It's weird, you hear these old, like, stock apparition sounds and you say, oh, that's a comforting familiar and comforting sound. It's like, oh, that's just an apparition. That's not one of these weird, creepy things. I mean, it's maybe not just an apparition. There's a lot of undead wandering these corridors and, you know, rather too many, I would have thought. Considering Human Man isn't even here. And all that's happened is everybody died out through due to a few earthquakes and wandering uh, fire elementals, but... Apparently that's enough for massive unrest of the dead, or undead of the rest, of course. Lunar Court, okay. I don't know what we need to do this for, but... Investigate over there. Oh, instead of investigating, he's actually running away. Okay, what I want to know is can I get up on top here? Maybe not. Oh, 
the shadows are really weird in here. Don't make me have to murder you. Made me have to murder you. <sighs> oh, let me try this again then. This edge, then I can probably get up here. Yeah, okay. All right, this is where I was, this is all I was trying to do. Four, and the duck will start its flight towards the guards. What? 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 What ducks got to do with anything? I, mean, I didn't actually see these up here, I just thought there's a place up there's an up there's an offness of the place, which is surely relevant. I didn't want to jump across there because the jumping would probably alert him. Oh this one I can't read, okay. I guess I could have just gone like that. Alright. Now I do need to wait for him to pass so I can get past him, I suppose. Nice sky, though. There's Assassin Man. Oh, there's a door that I can't open. Oh, great, there's another assassin man. Yeah, you don't look at all unfriendly. Red armies, big sword. Oh, great, you didn't come this way. I guess I'm going the way you came because I don't know where else to go. Wait, you going around in circles or what? Yeah, maybe you are, okay. Uh, couldn't you have given me a map of the Necropolis too, Mr. Alf? Oh, there's another one in here. Oh, this is... I. This is just like the uh, High Priest's place in... Um, Karth Din. There's another Soulfire here, though. I've, again, I have no idea what they're about. No information on them. Are they supposed to be... Extra good at killing undead, or, or what? I'm hearing lots of footsteps now. A worrying amount of footsteps. Three different sets, I think. Okay, that guy came back from the right. This one came in. Maybe there's two of them going in circles in opposite direction. I don't know. There's too many of them, that's for sure. Another. Suddenly they're all just in here. It's 
wonder if this guy's guarding any treasure. Foolish thing to wonder, right? But, you know, it's professional, uh, hazard, inquisitiveness about treasure. Don't worry, Garrett's got full inquisitiveness insurance. The answer seems to be no treasure. This is actually a better spot for seeing what's happening at the door anyway. Suggests that's my moment. Wait, was there nothing down here? Do neither of those... I mean, there's another spirit fight arrow. I'm sure there's something more. Neither of those pedestals seem to be readable, though. I'm confused. Neither of these are readable. back. This could be bad. This is bad. As long as none of the others follow him. It's just Spooky mate, spooky man, I can deal with him. I don't want to wake the others up. Uh, the others are coming to search as well, I think. It's hard to see, he's in the way. Yeah, he'll let them too. Although they probably can't see this far away. Stopped searching, which is good news for me. They'll be more alert now. At least they're not after me. I don't know where I'm going to, though. So north was that dead end. Have I been east? I don't know. I think I came from south. I'm really lost. East is the door I can't open, right? And I guess I need to go this way. more than one coming this way. Yeah, it's a highway. Don't know, I don't remember where my next uh, hiding spot is, that's the problem. Guess I'm gonna head around and see what this. See if I can find whatever this gate opened. Hmm, do 
Please don't see me here. Thank you. Right. This was what was it was guarding. Okay. One, the hare will be the first to notice the dawn. Oh, and that's the door I couldn't open from the other side, right? Yes, okay. So, where to now? I don't know. Guess we go through the... The hole with the fallen thing. Up the stairs to the right. Obviously, we're not ready for the last path yet because we have this path before the last path. Why is there a fireball button? I don't know. There was someone up here in this room, right? Yep. Ooh. Baddies, baddies everywhere. An area place to think. Only the one of them up here, it seems. Keep behind him, we might be alright. I think we've been down there. Guys, you're your good guys are restless there, mate. You might want to think about putting them back to sleep. Although I guess you're insomniac yourself. Maybe you're from the third casket. Okay. <sighs> what was the thing we even had about the last path, right? Maybe it's not in either of these. Blah, blah. Yeah, it was in the, uh, the one I couldn't pick up. Oh, we've got another one of these fire sword guys, okay. Oh, actually, several more. We must be above the last path now, right? Cushions and a piece of gold, okay. Gold's acceptable. Your offering is not entirely without worth. Ah, look, that dagger looks 
awfully familiar, actually. This is not safe. This guy's too bright. He's, he's riled up, all right. Nearly, he nearly didn't see me. What am I even doing here? I'm looking for green pillar number two, I guess, but... <laughs> not one of these. So I'm not even sure why I would want to be over there. Maybe I can just put him out. Water arrows? Seriously? It's a bit excessive. green one I'm looking for, but hey, it's another star gem. How many is that? Oh, I've got two more now, because I've used a few of them. Oh, yeah, I am honestly just pretty annoyed at the damn directionlessness of this place. It's like, yeah, I go in this big maze of undead and sneak and sneak and sneak. Oh, hey, saw me, huh? Too bad for you. I'm not there anymore. Guess we just get back out of here now. Oh, can you repeat that? I couldn't really hear what you said there, mate. A bit indistinct. So what the hell is this button all about? I mean, apart from waking up the guy down there. I mean, all apart from a trap of you standing here looking at the thing, pressing the button, getting fireball to the butt, which would be hilarious, but. Not necessarily constructive. I'm gonna just try back backstepping this fella, because uh, he's kind of in the way. Well, that worked quite nicely. A safe dark place to leave him. I don't really think so, right? I like to customize the carry bit map too. Look at that, the carry icon. It's a weird purple skinless guy with a bracelet on his arm. Okay, you should be alright there. It's a sign that I'm getting impatient. Wait, isn't that the altar room where they were just shooting at me from? I don't know. I guess we'll find out next episode. See you then.